denizens of the internet. Since the failure of the Rise of Skywalker movie and the lackluster Star Wars streaming shows, there have been many Star Wars movies and TV projects announced or hinted at that never came to pass. From the much ballyhooed Ryan Johnson trilogy, Kevin Feige had a Star Wars project, Taika Waititi, and, and many more. And now there is a rumor that head honcho Kathleen Kennedy has been kneecapped and told to stop announcing projects in development. But myself and good friend Script Doctor have secret Hollywood sources that even Doomcock does not have access to. And so here are some of the secret development projects. Ewok Minions. In an effort to cash in on the popularity and financial success of Minions, Star Wars will be releasing an Ewoks-only movie <laughs> featuring their adorable antics as they attack Empire positions and take down Scout Walkers and frustrating Empire commanders. The movie will have subtitles. Moss Eisley Cantina. Taking a page from the popular sitcom Cheers, Cantina will host your favorite assassins and pirates. Whereas in Cheers, everyone knows your name at Moss Eisley Cantina. If they know your name, you're dead. TK421 Jump Street. Training stormtroopers to pose as impressionable young teens to infiltrate the rebellion and stop their plots against the Empire starring Johnny Depp. The Real Housewives of Naboo. Follow the crazy oversexed women of Queen Amidala's court. There'll be cat fights and name calling as the women compete for the hottest Naboo men or kill off their husbands. If you want to see men begging for their lives, then this is the reality show for you. American Film Institute Awards. As a cost-cutting savings measure, Star Wars will be re-releasing the Harrison Ford at the AFI Life Achievement Award speech from 2000. It will feature the hilarious roast by a real Carrie Fisher, George Lucas, Mike Nichols, Brad Pitt, Steven Spielberg, and many, many more. Mark Hamill's speech has been cut because Kennedy hates his fucking guts and absolutely refuses to put Luke, Han, and Leia together ever. Bosk the Bounty Hunter. Bosk lost his faith after a near-death experience and journeys through the galaxy capturing wanted criminals and helping them redeem themselves and live a good life instead of becoming a victim of the scorekeeper. Bantha King, a documentary series following Joe Astonishing and his rival Carbass the Hutt as they fight to have the most popular bantha preserves on the planet Tatooine. Mon Mothma? Mon Mothma! The story of a young senator as she struggles to cope with the change from the old empire to the galactic empire and the strange events unfolding around her. At Home with the Solos, a sitcom featuring Han and Leia raising Kylo. It's tough enough parenting a regular boy, but when your kid is going to be a Sith Lord, you know that's going to be a real challenge, as Kylo is sent home from school for stuffing toilets with toilet paper and killing the principal. Also starring the holograms of Dom DeLuise and Agnes Moorhead. How High Republic! A pair of spice addicts go on a quest across the galaxy to satisfy their need for munchies before they lose their buzz. Starring Cheech and Chong. Breaking Luke Bad. Luke finds out he has terminal cancer and starts distributing unpasteurized thalassiren green milk as the First Order tries to track him down and arrest him for selling the unlicensed raw green milk. Terrace Tonight. A late night talk show on the Holonet where hosts Fody and Bede, the pod race announcers from episode one, interview such amazing guests as Emperor Palpatine's dry cleaner, Grand Mufti Tarkin's limo driver from his visit to Kessel, and one of the janitor droids of Darth Vader's Bacta tank. And watch for TIE Fighter Karaoke with many surprise guests. So, what do you think? I think there are some surefire hits in there. Tell us what your favorite is. Till next time, denizens, be seeing you.